Uh, greetings family, this is Bomani Taimba. Welcome to our conference call for Africa Tours for 2020. Today is Sunday, January 12th, 2020. And we just got back from our last two journeys, South Africa, November 2019, and Ghana, December 2019. And uh, just getting ready to get things organized for our next journey, which is Senegal and the Gambia for April 3rd to the 13th. Uh, so that's uh, three months from now. And I uh, want to go, go directly into the uh, emails that were sent. One email was the presentation or the actual newsletter for the Senegal and the Gambia tour, which had the full detail itinerary. And another email in general is the uh, conference call email, uh, which is just a uh, highlight of just um, uh, general topics. So the list of general topics um, that you see from 1 to 20, we're not going to go uh, through it in, in any specific order. It's just something that is broken down where for a three to four month period, we just go through all these details um, and it's, you know, we just go through some aspects of the newsletter and the website and so on. So what I'm going to do is pull up that, um, since that's the next uh, journey we're going on, I'm going to pull up that actual newsletter and I'll see if I, and for those who are, have screen sharing on, uh, let me set it so you can actually just see what we're going through. All right, so we have the Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour set for April 3rd to 13th, 2020. And for those who are still interested, uh, we do have space available and uh, we have guaranteed tickets from Atlanta and uh, JFK. Uh, New York, and those flights will go directly to Paris, uh, France. Now, once uh, all the flights uh, get to Paris, France, um, we're going to leave directly uh, all together on an Air France flight, which leaves at um, 4.40 and get to Senegal at uh, uh, 8.25 p.m. So literally, uh, once we start on the third, um, it's a uh, late flight situation. Uh, so if you're in Atlanta, uh, the goal is for us to directly just have a nice little meetup. And for those who are in the land area, when we get closer to the meetup, we'll just talk about it. And it's nothing uh, major, just uh, since I'm leaving Atlanta, we just connect with whoever we meet up with and we just uh, move together. And then once we get to Amsterdam, we just uh, reach out to everyone else. But what we like to do is just get everybody on you know, on our WhatsApp uh, group page, we'll, we'll you know, do basic introductions uh, soon, and uh, we'll use the app just to communicate since uh, none of our phones, uh, most of our phones don't work. Uh, you just log into the free Wi-Fi um, at the uh, airport and, uh, you know, we just do our best to communicate. But the main thing is two hours before the flight depart, that's where we're actually meeting up at. And uh, once we uh, get to Senegal, uh, we have a, a staff waiting for us with the um, uh, transportation um, uh, tour bus and make our way to the hotel. Uh, so it's um, a situation where once we get there, it's, a, it's an hour before we go through customs and everything. Then it's another one hour drive. So we're basically going to get there this uh, late at night. Uh, so I um, want everyone to just rest and settle. And um, once you settle, um, I know it's like right away, but that's how we do it. Uh, we'll start uh, the first of three straight uh, tour days. Uh, so the first day will be uh, uh, day three, Sunday, April. And we'll start off with a uh, full tour of Gori Island Holocaust Dungeon. So the whole day we're going to, not the whole day, but we're going to spend a good amount of the day uh, there on the island and just try to fit everything in, including lunch and you know, make our way around different aspects of the of the island from the uh, African Holocaust dungeons to different museums to the you know, different to the fort that's on the uh, island. Uh, so it's a nice exercise and just you know nice day out. Um, it's a short boat ride across and back. Uh, it's literally an island off the coast of, um, of Senegal, off the capital city of uh, Dakar. Uh, so on the uh, newsletter, uh, what I have is a nice picture of it, and for those who have the screen sharing on, you can just see a small little boat and then you see a port going to the island. And so that's what literally the first country 
I've ever been to in Africa, um, which is, is uh, Senegal. And then the first stop or the first tour, the first thing that I did was uh, go to Gori Island. Uh, so this is uh, yeah. So this is literally 15 years uh, later. Uh, the first time was uh, March of 2004. That'll be uh, you know, 16 years um, okay, coming up. Perfect time to do this. Uh, you know, do this tour for you know for Senegal. Uh, we have try to organize uh, Senegal with uh, Gambia or Gambia with, the Sen with Senegal and but now there's a lot more interesting things going on in Senegal so looking to really just push this journey and connect more for our brothers and sisters who want to just feel a different part of uh, Africa. Uh, day four, Monday, April 6th, uh, the car full tour and business networking. So we're going to do a full city tour. Um, uh, the main thing we're going to visit is the African Renaissance, um, the statue, the museum itself. Uh, do you know? Do a basic, basic uh, walking tour. I drive around the new parts of uh, of uh, Dakar. Organized within uh, the full day of um, city touring. Just a nice lunch and just make it make it a nice, interesting day. But the main thing about this is just a lot of information is going to be you know, tour guide is going to be going through, uh, especially when we're walking and talking about the the uh, La Renaissance African uh, monument. And as you can see in the picture, uh, this thing is huge. You can see how small the people are. So when I first went to Senegal, um, that was never there. So this is something that was uh, built in the last uh, few years. Uh, day five, which is the third day of touring that we have in uh, uh, Senegal, we're going to visit Pink Lake and then uh, a lot of shopping at these. So this is also just a nice uh, adventure day, uh, getting on a 4 by 4 and you know, make your way around. And then uh, also have wonderful um, cultural uh, entertainment. So once um, we're finished and wrap up, um, that's the end of our, you know, our time in uh, Senegal. So while we're there, we're staying at Dakar uh, Le Nandiar uh, Hotel. The hotel link I have on there, so you can click on it. It's a nice four-star hotel. Just want to get something nice and relaxing for our, you know for our tour members. And this is a, this is owned by a Senegalese uh, business group. All right, so we're for five days um, lodging there in in Senegal. So that will be four days here. Uh, outgoing and then on the return we'll have one more day at a different hotel close to the airport. All right, so the next day we just have to prepare ourselves for early morning departure for four for about a five hour bus ride. And what I did was just have a map of Senegal and the Gambia to give you an idea where Dakar is and then where we actually go uh, to the Gambia which is you'll see uh, the Gambia is cut out in the middle of um, Senegal. Uh, and it's just right there along the coast, and you'll see the the Gambia, this, the water connection. And one of the wonderful features of the Gambia beaches uh, is the uh, black sand beaches, uh, this beautiful black sand beaches along the coast. So um, we're there in the Gambia for three days. So it's split up. Uh, you know, the first day the tour, the travel day when we get in, and then two days of touring. So the first day we tour, it's uh, just a basic city tour which has a lot of shopping. And we're staying at the Ocean Bay Hotel, and it's another um, four-star hotel. Uh, that's, uh, this one is right there on the beach. Comfortable um, uh, stay um, to just make sure all our guests feel you know, nice and, and comfortable. And at the same time, too, you're right there on the beach to enjoy the beautiful paradise and beach, beautiful view uh, there in the Gambia. Uh, the next day, um, we're going to do... Uh, uh, due free ancestral home of Kunta Kente, um, a full uh, tour to uh, James Island. Uh, so there we connect with the African Holocaust and learn more about what in the Gambia as far as what happened during the trans European slave trade. You hear different um, uh, stories and similar stories just like how you're in Senegal or Elmina or Cape Coast there in uh, Ghana. So that's uh, part of our roots and culture tour when we go to countries that have the remnants uh, still there. And so once we are closed out in the Gambia, it's uh, three days, uh, we'll head to Simone. Um, 
uh, Senegal and this basic overnight where we can just use that last day for final shopping and just organizing ourselves and then we just uh, head back on our flight and the flight route is the same way um, we we'll leave uh, the new airport in Senegal DSS and fly back to um, Paris and then uh, based on wherever we are coming from this your flight returns back to where you're coming from so uh, I'm working to send everyone their flight itinerary for um, Senegal and that way everyone can just be clear on their flight route and, but uh, the main thing is you know we have that one you have that flight in common uh, France to Senegal and 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 back right and anyone that's coming, um, I do my best to get you flights from the closest airport. Uh, but at the same time, too, the closer we get to the flight departure, the harder it is. But um, again, we do have flights to guarantee because I pre-ordered flights from Atlanta and JFK uh, for, you know, just to make sure that we have some guarantee flights. All right, so family, that is it. So this tour is 3,300, a uh, full package, and that includes two meals a day breakfast and uh, dinner, uh, access entrance to all sites activities, two to a room, uh, hotel booking based on double occupancy. So I just want everybody to be clear on that. If you want single occupancy, uh, that's a separate uh, cost. In this case, it's 400 And it's best to do it ahead of time because once you get to the country, the bookings and everything is already set. So if you want a room by yourself, you'd have to just pay outright for the room. Uh, so that's the reason why we have the information organized ahead of time is to make sure everybody is clear on everything. Uh, once you're on our website, africaforafricans.org, you can click on information for Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 2020. The screen uh, sharing, you'll see it switch over. So once you um, click on the tour link, uh, you see the full tour overview of Senegal and the Gambia, the full itinerary, the general terms, visa requirements, departure reminder, and improving your immune system. So the visa itself is, um, is something that I recommend everybody do at the uh, two-month mark or basically at the end of this month. Um, and you know, basically start right now and you can start sending out by the end of this month. And it's a simple visa information. It's one application, one passport photo. Uh, it takes several days. But I want everyone to click on it, print out the details, and look through it. And if you have any questions or you're not clear on something, you let me know. And uh, just like I was saying, it's uh, not much uh, to it. So it's a $100 um, uh, money order, order payable to the Embassy of the Gambia. And... Um, you can do express service, and that's the goal, is to avoid you doing express service by you doing it earlier ahead of time. So it's just $100. All right. Submit one uh, passport-style photo, and then you have to put a prepaid return envelope uh, to your address. That way they can put your passport in, back in the envelope and send to you. And uh, that's really it in, say, 5 to 10 days. So uh, that's the information right there on the site. And... Um, if you need any help or if you need any clarity or if you're stuck somehow, just let me know. Um, and any hotel information you need, you can get it from the itinerary um, by clicking on the website of the both hotels that we're staying at and things like that. And anything else you may need, just communicate with me. But beyond that, uh, that's um, the Gambia visa. And you do not need a visa for Senegal, but you need one for Gambia. All right, so family, I'm going to open up for questions and answer in reference to the Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour. And uh, what you have to do is press uh, star six to unmute yourself. Hey, Junior. Good evening. So um, there are no shot requirements, though, right? Like yellow fever or anything? Uh, yeah, there's no uh, mandatory shot um, or anything like that. For, but, for, uh, either, go ahead. for either country? For either country, uh, there's no uh, mandatory shots, uh, and there's no rec uh, recommendations or mandatory shots in our case either. But based on your health situation, um, you can connect with your doctor. But I do have an article up here, uh, Building Your Immune System, um, right on the uh, Senegal and the Gambia tour link. It's called Improving Your Immune System. And that's what I personally recommend for individuals who want to boost their health and, you know, 
feel a little stronger in a nice tropical environment. What about uh, carrying malaria pills with you? Yeah, definitely not against that. Uh, for those who need to take that, that's fine. But it's like every time I pop up in Africa, I can't be, you know, popping pills. Right. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, too, um, if it's something that uh, you feel like you need, you know, I'd definitely say get it. Uh, so we have a list that basically tell you to bring all your preventive medicine and things that you may need. Nobody has any questions? Uh, yes, unfortunately, it's uh, like that at times. But yeah, but uh, what I do is, this, you know, the, the conference calls once a month to go over the same information. That way no one can say we didn't go over anything or had a forum to where we have questions. So, But uh, family, right now, the um, line is open uh, for questions, uh, star six to unmute yourself, uh, for questions in reference to the Senegal and the Gambia tour coming up. Uh, and uh, no, it's not too late. Looking to accept more people. And for those who need more time, as soon as we uh, complete this journey, uh, We'll replicate the same dates. So if you can't make this one and you want to uh, make it in the future, uh, you can plan for April 2021. Uh, same schedule, same layout. Um, and that will be confirmed once we return. Uh, but for right now, we have a nice group. It is uh, eight of us. We have, have several more people that um, finalizing to commit. So looking to have a group of 10 to 15 uh, traveling with us to Senegal and the Gambia. All right, and Juma, you are ready to roll. You are ready to roll. What's, uh, what's so exciting about this itinerary that you want to join it? Um, okay. I guess, may, I, you know, the, the, the slave dungeons and wanting to, to get up close and personal with that statue. And um, I'm just also looking forward to, you know, getting a deeper feel for you know, what progress that um, that they're making on the African continent in terms of just bringing everything together the way the, uh, the former ambassador to the UN has, has spoken about and, um, and her encouraging African Americans to repatriate to the continent, you know. That's perfect, Gob, and it's another wonderful country with a lot of history and culture and, you know, we'll find... Africans from the diaspora, they're living you know, and doing business just like in Ghana, not as popular, but you'll find people you know, that have left the States and are there in both countries and, and enjoying a wonderful life. So it's, um, it's a country that, got, that has a lot going for it also, and the more of us also that connect there, and the better, you know, the better things would be as far as uh, opening up that connection to, you know, where you see more of a sink of, you know, especially like West Africa, is like there's too many borders and too many passports and visas and too many drama and you know language borders and everything. And yeah, but I understand that they're working to try to eliminate um, all these different visa restrictions and borders all throughout the continent because the borders are artificially drawn by Europeans. So looking ahead, they're working on that. You know, I'm hoping that a lot of the young people in the African diaspora, diaspora would be uh, would be able to take advantage of that, especially for business opportunities. Absolutely, definitely, that is the idea. Of, uh, you know, even with the small business networking that we're doing there, is just, you know, you you're building the energy of connection. Simple things that, like that that make the world of a difference. Uh, but if you know. The government don't see those of us in the desk for participating and coming and doing certain things. I won't encourage them to do, uh, you know, do other things. Uh, so, you know, it's a situation that uh, we have to participate in this uh, movement uh, for, our, you know, for our connection. And those of us who can should, and those who can't can, you know, give moral support or, you know, or their time will come or soon later. But it's good to see the more and more of us that's, you know, making that connection. And it was a nice wonderful crowd of folks uh, there in Ghana and you know just hoping that they don't all get stuck in Ghana <laughs> and right. so them come you know come to like countries like Senegal and the Gambia and because there's wonderful things going on there and and great business opportunities that may work out for some people all right let me see who else is on here um, but yeah do you have any other questions about the uh, the itinerary um, oh did I have any questions about it yeah, the itinerary. Uh, uh, you, are you fine with the hotels? Yeah, you got no, two hotels on there, and everything. Oh, yeah. That's got to click, and you ch and you'll see it. 
and I'd be fine with living in a tent. So I, <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm on the continent, I'm I'm good. <laughs> so some people saying, so you got no hot water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just I mean, I, you know, I, I was in the Air Force, so I've been to foreign countries and had to take cold baths and things like that. But as long as I've got a bar of soap, I'm good. Let's go to South Africa and uh, Ghana, and then just wrap it all up. But uh, okay. and if you have more questions, you know, be open for more questions. No, I'm, I'll just go ahead and mute my, my mic. All right, cool, perfect. And family, the line is open. It's star six to unmute yourself. Uh, if you have any questions, so we can go through the uh, other tour schedule. All right, so everybody's still on mute. So. All right, screen uh, sharing is up. Uh, let me switch to... All right, the other newsletter that was sent out was South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2020. So that's November 20th to the 30th, and it's uh, 3,700. So right now it is uh, 22 uh, of us uh, set for that journey. Uh, Max uh, is at uh, 35, um, this give or take. Uh, so we still have space uh, for those who are interested. So the uh, itinerary is laid out in this newsletter. And also, once you're on our website, AfricaForAfricans.org, you click on the main menu, and then you click on the South Africa and November 2020 tour, and you see the full itinerary, tour overview, general terms, uh, what to pack, and, and then it would also say South Africa, no uh, visa required. So let's just go down. Uh, day one, Friday, November 20th, depart Atlanta to Johannesburg. So this is a direct flight. Uh, we do a four o'clock meetup, and the flight departs at 6:25. Uh, so right now, for those who are not flying out of Atlanta, uh, just need to know where you're flying out of, so we can confirm flights for you if we can get flights from you. But again, flights are guaranteed out of Atlanta and New York. For those who decide to come later on, if we can't get you a flight directly, then the other route that we have is Amsterdam. So your flight will leave from the U.S. and go to Amsterdam. And from Amsterdam, it will take you to Johannesburg. And then your flight will arrive you know, a few hours later. So we'll just do a separate pickup for you. recommend everyone who are interested in any of these tours to commit at the, the one-year mark. That way we can just lock tickets in right away and make sure we get tickets within budget for everybody. Um, and work the connection flights. And so once we all get to uh, Johannesburg, um, what I recommend everyone do is we just take our time in this process and just uh, get our money exchanged, get as much of it as possible exchanged for the duration of while we're in Johannesburg. Because once we, then when we get back to the airport in Johannesburg again, once on our way to Cape Town, we can do another money exchange. And that, that saves us from going to the Forex Bureau or trying to find someone to work that system for us. Uh, so different country, different uh, sequence. And uh, last time we got caught up at the bank. It was just, it was just terrible. It just took too. It was just ridiculous. Um, so, and it was another time we tried to exchange money. It was just, it was just a ridiculous situation. And this time it's going to be a lot more of us. So we'll work the sequence bunch of money exchange places right there at the airport so it makes it convenience and also for those who want to get money exchange already uh, in the US or at the US airport uh, all those things are recommended uh, so just looking at ways to save logistic time um, in Ghana we have a simpler setup we have someone that we actually work it out to it that comes on a board with us and you know work out a different sequence uh, so you know, we do the best we can do with whatever connections or resources we have. And then uh, those who want to use the ATM machines, we can definitely always get you to an ATM machine. Or while we're there in in Johannesburg, you know, there's a hotel connection to the Rosebank Mall that's always going back and forth and plenty of machines and things there uh, along the restaurants. Uh, so this uh, a nice uh, South Africa roots and culture journey. Uh, set up to give you five days in Johannesburg and three days in Cape Town. And in the five days in Johannesburg, you have three days that we do tour days. So our uh, first day is the day we just get there. Our uh, second day, we're going to visit the uh, Lesedi Cultural Village. 
and so it will just be a display of uh, mankind as far as different cultures and villages and concepts and, and history. Uh, so it's very interesting and some nice shopping. Um, we'll do lunch, um, we'll finalize where we do lunch at. Um, but then we'll head to Constitutional Hill, which is not too far from our hotel. Uh, and that's um, was a notorious prison that uh, now is, is a court system set up there. Uh, so you get all the history and you get to go to the court and have some nice videos uh, on a YouTube page uh, that uh, shows you the full presentation. Uh, in some cases, historical places like that, a lot of times we just were able to just get some good footage. Um, and you know you can always just look at it, but it's still d not the same as being there. But uh, you know, it gives you an idea. And you know once we finish, we have a short ride back to the hotel, and then you know we'll set things for you know for seven o'clock dinner. We usually have two options, either a buffet at the uh, restaurant or we'll go out to eat together. And some people may decide to stay at the hotel and, you know, based on whatever they're looking to do or maybe they want to take a ride out. So it's, you know, it's a nice uh, flexible option um, the, uh, there uh, that we have in uh, Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. And uh, while we're there, we're staying at the Partonian uh, All Suite. So it's a nice um, high rise of All Suite uh, rooms. Um, uh, very luxurious and it's very relaxing and perfect for our folks just to get a nice relax feel. Uh, next day we're gonna do uh, we're gonna visit uh, the Apartheid Museum and do a full tour of Soweto. And the Apartheid Museum, once you get there, it's one of those situations where we just give everyone two hours, and then you um, you can spend one hour doing going through the Apartheid uh, presentation, um, and then another one hour going. Nelson Mandela presentation, and, and it takes about two to three hours to look at all, you know, look at everything. But unfortunately, it's uh, one of those things where some people may go through it a little faster. But do a nice introduction at the front, and then this everyone that's going this read through what they want to read through and go through. But it's not a guided uh, tour, unfortunately. And so some of the, the sequence in South Africa is a little different. As far as tour guide, constitutional, that's like was a, like a full detailed presentation guided tour. Uh, so once we finish at the uh, apartheid museum, we're going to head to Soweto and then we're going to do some shopping and enjoy a wonderful lunch and then uh, just walk down to the Mandela House uh, for a full presentation. Uh, so in there, um, it's uh, photos, no videos. I get thrown off a lot of times with these places. Uh, then we go to Hector Peterson Museum, the same situation. Uh, this one is no photos, no videos. Um, and it may change when we get there, I'm not even sure. But uh, we also have an outside presentation of a local tour guide that gives us a full history. Uh, so that video was uh, documented, uh, you know, nice presentation. Right, and then we're going to head back uh, for a 7 p.m. dinner and the same sequence. Uh, either go out uh, to the mall and go to go, go at a certain restaurant or buffet at the restaurant. So those are nice flexible options. Uh, day 5, Tuesday, November 24th, Planisburg and sorry, Planisburg National Park. So that's a three hour safari. Um, that's a three hour safari. So it's not a go out a few days or, or anything. So we leave there at 6.30 for a two hour ride and the goal is to get there uh, by 8.30, 8.45 uh, to start the 9 o'clock uh, uh, three-hour safari. That way we could be finished by 12. Have, you know, and the goal is to get everybody to pre-order lunch every day. So in this situation, when we get there, we'll see if we're going to pre-order lunch, do our three-hour safari. By the time we come back, lunch is good. And um, then we just we have a school that we visit. Um, it's called the... Future Builders uh, School is an after-school program. So for those of us who want to bring uh, school supplies and financial donations, uh, that's the only location that we have on this um, itinerary to do that. So you know, it's um, a volunteer basis, so it's all up to the individual. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we do our best, um, but it's just you know, something that we just add to the program to just add balance and energy and try to, you know, donate some uh, energy while we did this enjoying ourselves on this wonderful roots and culture tour. 
Right, and the next day is a free or open day because after that uh, safari and that long ride, two hours there because we have to drive two hours back. And, you know, the goal for the most part every day is to get back around 5 o'clock. Uh, so we just use the next day for final shopping, relaxing, and anything else anyone want to do in, and get yourself ready for uh, Cape Town. All right, so uh, once we uh, depart in the morning and we head to Cape Town, uh, we have nothing scheduled on that day other than our dinner at the Waterfront uh, restaurant. And the same sequence we have organized, whether it's at the Waterfront or out in the city, uh, like we have a restaurant that's called Mama Africa. So that's one of the restaurants for this to go out in. But again, uh, for those who just need to be at the hotel and want to eat at the buffet, we can, you know, we, you know, we'll just say, hey, just just pay for your buffet there at the hotel. Uh, so we just keep that nice flexible options. Um, uh, some people may want to come out every day and some people may not. Uh, but the goal is to literally go out to somewhere different every day and just enjoy the night out and uh, eat dinner versus always eat at, eating at the uh, hotel. All right, so um, in uh, Cape Town, it's uh, two tour days that we have. So the first tour day is the Robin Island uh, uh, tour um, and the full township tour and then you know work lunch in between uh, the next day uh, we have the table mountain the full tour table mountain and then this there's one or two light things uh, in the afternoon uh, including shopping in the castle of good hope and greenport lighthouse uh, uh, diamond works um, so it's uh, be a full day and we'll get back probably closer to six but it all depends on the traffic and how things flow in the morning with the, uh, you know, with the uh, Table Mountain. Uh, the good thing about it, the next day, it's not an early push to leave. I do have a 12 o'clock checkout, uh, but our goal is to realistically leave around 1 o'clock. Uh, we don't, the flight don't leave until uh, 8.55 at night. And I uh, arrive uh, 6.45 the next day, uh, which is uh, Monday, November 30th. So this itinerary is set for the Thanksgiving holidays. Um, leave on that Friday and come back on a Monday. And that is our full, and I was saying that the, um, this one is the, the same hotel sequence, uh, but this one's called the Waterfront uh, Breakwater Lodge. Uh, so this will be just five minute walk to the waterfront, which is just a beautiful, this view. Uh, a lot of shopping restaurants. So if I could, I would add one more day to uh, Cape Town, but uh, that's the days we have to work with and the budget of everything. Family, we still have our uh, space on that journey, so just reach out to me via email or reply back to this uh, newsletter, and um, we'll get you locked in. So what I want to do is uh, open things up for questions. Out right, everyone who just went over the newsletter for the Senegal and the Gambia April 2020 tour and the South Africa November 2020 tour. Uh, so line is open for all questions and relevance to both of those uh, journeys. And the same schedule we have for this year is the same schedule we look to replicate next year. So if you have any interest uh, next year, just uh, let us know also so we can just get an idea of who is interested for the following years. That's how we kind of build the energy up where to go and who want to go where or what tour is interesting. All right, so star six, unmute yourself. If not, just uh, give me a minute and then I'll move on to the final segment of what we have, which is the Ghana tour for May and December of 2020. I'm going to go to our website, Africa, for the Africans.org, and then in the very top of the main menu is the Ghana tour December 2020. And then if you just scroll down a little bit more, you see the Ghana tour May 2020. Now, the schedule that um, we're going to be using is the same schedule that uh, Larry just came back from Ghana. So I'm going to swap over the May schedule. The only difference is the order of how things are flown. The first four days were in Accra on um, both tours. Uh, then the, n the next sequence is three days in Cape Coast, Elmina. And then we close out with three days in Kumasi. So that's the flow of what I uh, have. Th that's what we did in December. And uh, once we left Accra, we was able to visit our Black Star repatriation and 
in Pan-African community on uh, 15-acre land while we're working to build that energy. And just redo the tour dates to, well, for May to where we can just you know, get there once we leave our car versus on the back end. So that's the only thing I have to change on the, um, the May schedule. Uh, but other than that, everything is exactly the same. And then I have to work it all out with our hotels and everything. Uh, so that is the uh, only uh, major change. Other than that, it's a nice 10-day uh, journey itinerary on both, uh, you know, both tours. Um, it's not really much of a difference uh, in the climate also, except December is a busier time and probably a little more, things are a little more expensive as far as bookings and things. So we have to just make sure that we commit early for that journey. That way tickets could be reserved based on where everyone is coming from. So what I'm going to do is just click on the tour overview and the same, and it's the same tour overview for both uh, journeys. Uh, so both to tours are 3,700, and uh, our flight sequence leave from uh, Amsterdam to uh, Ghana. So all flights are connected from the States to Amsterdam. As far as on the return, now that may vary. It's either Amsterdam or uh, Paris to Air France. So when we do the Delta booking, other uh, airlines they do work with is uh, K11 Air France and um, Kenya Airways. It's um, their uh, Sky Team. And so all these tours are full tours. Uh, the transportation throughout uh, Ghana. So the tour bus picks you up at the airport, and we make our way around the country and drops you off back um, where we started. Uh, and, and it's just that type of journey. You know, uh, full tour bus, full staff going around the country and just enjoying a full journey. Uh, so it's something we're dedicated to this. Make sure that you're, you're just enjoying yourself and, you're, and everything is taken care of for you. Uh, and we're taking you around with us. Uh, so your experience journey with us where if there's any issues or anything you need to be handled, you let us know, communicate with us, and we'll just work it out for you. And that's the uh, goal of these journeys to get everybody clear on being prepared, being organized, and just to get everybody just to flow together and enjoy a journey where little to no drama or complaining or beefing or anything because there's just so much to focus and enjoy. So we even stepped it up with the other, other countries we have where the hotels are so much more nicer, which most of the little few problems that we have had is just based on hotels anyway. Um, so. Yeah, so as far as Ghana, it's one of those things where, you know, where we just try to get everybody else to, you know, work with everything as best as possible. Uh, the hotels, the Mikkelen hotels are nice, but uh, when you get to Cape Coast, El Mina, we have to do bed and breakfast. Uh, uh, so, but at the same time, too, it's either that or Coconut Grove, and that also increases the price. But as far as the accommodations to give you, like, a real feel, and it's what we have set up. But that's the difference between the Ghana tours and other tours. Is just these are two uh, and three star hotels versus the three to five star hotels and other tours. Um, and and then Ghana is more rich in culture based on the itinerary and so on. Uh, so based on what everybody's looking for, everybody just have to be clear on these things. Another thing that's included is um, we have a nice business and investment uh, conference, uh, entrance and access to all sites and activities and the land and whatever investments is organized within that. So, you know, there's also a lot more uh, going on as far as for those who want to live and do business. And what's not included is lunch, group tips, $50 per person, and then any other fee that's, that we don't have listed is not included. So the, um, the visa for Ghana is $60 for single entry, and then that's for three months, and then $100 for multiple entry, which is good for one to five years. So these are the layout of the details on the tour overview. And then now, I was saying for all three tours, you have the Accra, four days, Elmina Cape Coast, three days, and Kumasi, three days. And there's a, in Accra, we have the city tour, um, which includes uh, Black Star Square, Independence Arch, WEB, Du Bois Center, possibly George Padmore Library. Usually we just put it in the book uh, to share, since it's a part of that historical uh, time frame, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, 
the Arts and Culture Center, University of Ghana Campus Tour and Book uh, Store, walk through century-old Avery Botanic Gardens, um, stop outside of Rita Marley House for Studio One, uh, Trinity Home Foundation uh, School, um, Avery Wood Carbon Village, and Business Conference. And we're staying at the Micklin Hotel in Accra, which is a two-star hotel, uh, nice clean pool, restaurant, bar, open courtyard where you can get manicure, pedicure, get a haircut, get your hair done. Uh, you can do some light shopping and also guys will be out there shopping. And it's in a beautiful neighborhood where it's in walking distance to all the clubs, nightlife bars, um, other hotels, and, and transportation and so on. Uh, so that hotel put us in a perfect location as far as the neighborhood and the same thing as the one in Kumasi. The Elmina Cape Coast in the central region, so that's three days. So we would do a thin man so on, on, on our way to Kumasi. Uh, then um, we would do Cape Coast or Elmina, usually Cape Coast dungeons. Um, Cape Coast University Campus Tour, Canopy Walk, uh, Network of Insist Amicus. Um, organize school supplies for the children of One Africa and also the school, their Coma Academy, and we'll visit the Black Star Repatriation Pan African uh, community. And lodging is either One Africa Hotel or Carrick Hotel. And all the hotels are laid out too, you can click on them, check them out, and you know, then if you have any questions, you can just communicate. And, and the last three days is uh, Kumasi in the Ashanti region. We tour uh, Kwame Nkrumah uh, University of Science and Technology, a uh, city tour, a uh, full uh, tour of the different craft village, including Banwir, Ahomo, the famous Kente Clot. We go to Intanso for Dinka uh, stamps. Um, also, there's another wood carving village, uh, and uh, we'll visit the uh, Manshia Ashanti Palace. Also, the Arts and Culture Center there in Kumasi. Uh, Lajin is at the Miklin Hotel in Kumasi. And we have two wonderful days of lunch at Ike's Cafe. Uh, so it's a wonderful itinerary and it's laid back to where once we finish in the afternoon about 3 o'clock, we'll just have a nice uh, pool party uh, for those who want to come out and swim or just want to relax by the pool and play cards or dominoes. And then we just relax and enjoy the last three days as we journey for about a four or five hour drive back to Accra, have our final dinner at our country kitchen or another restaurant and then just get everybody back uh, for a six o'clock uh, uh, drop off at the airport uh, where you have a few hours where you still have enough time to process through and you know, and then you know, have more than enough time. So all those things are laid out in the itinerary. Um, so just the same sequence as what I talk about is the same sequence of the itinerary without uh, going through certain specifics. So family, those are the four tours and four countries that we have scheduled on the itinerary. And that is all of your overview uh, details. All information could be accessed on our website. All right, so since I've gone over all the details, family, uh, uh, press uh, star six and meet yourself if you have any questions, if you need clarity of anything. Uh, other than that, um, we're going to close out in approximately five minutes if we have no more questions and anyone else needs to communicate with me, you can email me or call me directly. Uh, beyond that, uh, go list to this, go to these details once a month uh, in different ways. And you can always just look back on your presentation that was uh, emailed to you. Everything is very detailed. I found the line is still open if anyone have any questions. I tell you, since uh, no one else have any questions, um, everyone appreciate you joining the call. Um, good night. And uh, remember, all information we have is just click on information and read to it. It's all there. And if you have questions, the best thing to do is type them up and just uh, email them. And uh, you can just call me from there and we can go through it. All right, so family, beyond that, everyone, you take care. And have a good night, and we'll see you on the journey of a lifetime.